significant. So I'll write significant. That means A is different from B. A and B are not same. A is different from B. Now what about A and C? What about A and C? 0 0.131. Is it significant? That means not significant. That means what? A and C are same. A and C are same. A and B are significant. A and C are same. Now what about B and C? B and C, what is happening with B and C? Here. C with B. B with C. 0 0.00. Okay? So that means it is significant. Okay? So what is the conclusion from this? B and C are different. A and B are different. Okay, that means? What is the conclusion? Okay. B is different from A and C. Only A and C are same. A and C are same. Only because B is different, because B is different, it is different from C, it is different from A. Because B is different. So that is the conclusion. So this is how you have to conclude. So this is how you have to write in your thesis. Once you get a significant value of F, to further examine the group differences to understand which group is doing better than the other two, the data was subjected to post hoc. Okay? The data was subjected to post hoc test. In post hoc, which test you have to use? That you have to mention. Okay, which test you have to use? We have used which test? Tukey. We have used Tukey. Every test has a particular use. Okay, you will get all this information in net also. Every test is for a specific purpose. What did we use? We have used Tukey's test. Tukey's test is also called highly significant difference. Okay, so we have used Tukey. Tukey is HST, highly significant difference. Okay, so this is the result of Tukey. Now see here. A and C are same. A and C are same. Okay, that means what? We'll see the means. A and C are same. That means A, this 61, 61 and 59 is same. 61.45 and 59 is same. 61 and 59 are almost same. Because B got 69, no? Because it got so high, it is not comparable with A and C. That is why, that means you should explore now what happened in B, who, which teacher taught them in B, did copying happening in B, what happened, all those things you have to do. Okay, if this is your mathematics or maybe a teacher, a new teacher with high skills has taught students with section B, that is the reason why they must have got good results. Okay, right? So this is one way ANOVA, right? This is Sorry? No, no, no. This has got nothing to do with normal distribution. Post hoc comparisons, post hoc test is used for this, when your F value is significant. Okay, what is post hoc test? Post hoc test is pairwise comparison. See, this is pairwise. Post hoc test is pairwise comparison. If you get a <coughs> significant value in F, in one-way analysis of variance, if you are getting a significant result, then to further examine and to understand which group is different from the other two, because you have three groups. If you, in t-test we didn't do post hoc, why? In t-test we didn't do post hoc, why? Madam, madam. Okay, water, bottle, water, water, water. In t-test we didn't do post hoc, why? Ah, obviously. You, we had only two sections. So whichever mean is better, that we can finally conclude. There is no need for us to do post hoc. So it becomes very obvious there. But here we have three groups. Okay? And then the significant F value on, will only allow us to permit to say that whether they are same or different. Based on the value. Why? Because mean is only a descriptive statistic. I have already told you. Okay? Mean on stand alone basis will never allow you to compare and then come out with a conclusion in deciding whether this is group or better or not. Okay? 
because in T test we have only two groups and if you get a significant T, then you have that freedom of comparing which group has a higher mean that is better. But here in this case, we have three groups. Sometimes you'll have four, sometimes you'll have five. That time post hoc test plays a very important role in deciding to make you understand which group is better than the other two. Okay? That is the reason why we use post hoc. Okay? Right? <coughs> so this is about this is a story about post hoc and this is one via Nova. You have any doubts here? So how, how, how will you, now you have to understand how will you write all this result in, how will you write all this result in your thesis? You have to follow the APA style manual. How will you write? All this is not needed because you have A, B, C and A, B and C. You can compare A with B, A with C and B with C. You don't have to write exactly like this. Okay, don't write exactly like this. All this is not needed. Okay? All right? Now, our results are not permitting us to use parametric. So what should we do? We have to use non-parametric. Okay? Now our ours is independent. Okay, so now under non-parametric, which test you use? How many samples we have? We have k independent samples. Okay. 